Our asset manage asset tracking software for Microsoft Windows includes an integrated report designer. This allows you to create new reports or edit existing reports. And we've created a series of video tutorials on how to use this report designer. We had a customer who needed a report and it was similar to the assets by location report as it needed to be grouped by location. But he wanted some changes made. He wanted some fields in different positions. He wanted some new fields to replace the ones that are currently there a different sort order etc so in this video we're going to show you how to do that uh, the best way to do this is to edit an existing report and so we're going to edit the assets by location report first of all save it under a different name so file save as we'll just call it assets by location 2 and now we can go ahead and make changes so what the customer wants is is in this spreadsheet here um, Currently, you have asset number first. You have a description. He doesn't need that. Uh, he wants a comments added, etc. So we're going to go ahead and start making those changes. Uh, to do to make changes to this table object here, you're going to double click on it, and this is what you would currently see. Now, first of all, he needs a um, asset that category is the first field. So to do that, you're just going to right mouse click on this current first field and select insert column text and I'm going to type in asset.category now notice uh, when you've entered a uh, successfully entered a field name uh, this section here turns bold which means it's a valid field name and at the bottom here you'll get a um, uh, an example of what that field will contain so I'm going to click OK now we're going to get this error message and if you read it you'll see it's basically saying should I reduce the size of the column so that uh, everything will fit on one line and in most cases you're gonna say yes you can always go ahead and change change this later on I'll click yes so asset category first he wants asset that the department field second and that's also currently not here so once again insert column text And now that's second. Now he needs asset number third. That's already there. He does not want a description field. He wants date purchased. Now date purchase is always already here. And to move it, all we got to do is click on it and move it on up till it's where we want it to be using this up arrow. He needs comments as the next field. Now we've already got comments here, but it's on a different line. So one thing you can do it's very useful in many cases is just copy and paste so we're going to click here select copy and paste it in after date purchased now he doesn't need the description field so we can delete it he wants base cost now we've already got total cost here we can easily change it to base cost just by editing Moving on up. Now he needs manufacturer model and serial numbers, the last three, and we've already got that. Uh, we don't need this second line anymore, so we can delete it. Now we've got to change the field headers to match up with the data line. So what we're basically going to do is go back and forth and matching up the, the titles to the actual data fields. So first of all, we've got category department asset number date purchase is fourth and can move that up fifth is comments now to change from description to comments you just double click and enter the new text do the same with base cost we can call it Base cost and the last three are correct so now we're good to go click OK now you can see that the column widths are a little bit messed up and one thing you can do is if you want to zoom in just click on the start 
section here and zoom in. That'll make it easier to adjust the field width. So first of all, I'll just move this over. Try and match up com category, match up department. Um, now another way to do this if you want to be really precise is if you click on a field and go at the bottom here you can actually enter the exact width in millimeters so but for this presentation we're just going to do it this way so okay so that looks good now one more thing to do is he wants the sort order he wants a multiple sort order first on category and then on date purchased now currently the sort order is asset.description to change that click here remove asset.description add asset.category is the first now date purchased it can be either um, a plus or minus and plus means in, a, in ascending order so the oldest items will be first in the list and descending order is what we want in most cases which means the most recent uh, purchased items will be first in the list. So we click OK. Save. Now to run this report with all the assets in the currently in the uh, in the program, you're going to select reporting. Output report using all data. And here's our assets by location too. Click open. Select the output. This is use preview to make sure it worked properly. And there we go. It's grouped by location. Uh, and we've got all the fields that we wanted. Now you can see here the comments. Uh, in some situations, it's too long. You can, you can always go back in and change the field. You could even uh, change the report to be a landscape report. So we'll leave that to another uh, video. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Take care.